Hi everybody and welcome to Devotions on this Monday. Well, yesterday was a birthday. And whose birthday was it? It was the birthday of Jesus' church because it's celebration of the day of Pentecost when God gave us the most beautiful gift. And that was the gift of the Holy Spirit. John the Baptist said that he baptized in water, but one was coming who was going to baptize us in the Holy Spirit. And before Jesus ascended into heaven, he said that in a few days, the disciples would be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And then on the day of Pentecost, the glorious gift with the wind and the fire and uh, the transformation of those disciples through the work of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes everything real and brings everything that Jesus taught uh, to life. Well, we're going to have a baptism now. And this is the baptismal font. And this sponge is going to be baptized because what baptism means is simply to dip or to dunk the way you would dunk your rusk in a mug of coffee. That's all it means. So when you're baptized, you go into the water. And then when you come up, you're full of the water. And what comes out is drips and drops of water. So as we're filled with the Holy Spirit, as we're filled with the Holy Spirit, so the nature and the love and the power and the goodness of God oozes out of us. The Bible says that we must keep on being filled with the Spirit. Why is that? Well, D.L. Moody, the famous evangelist, said, well, I need to be filled because I leak. And when all that water has eventually dribbled away, we've got to go in again. So we need to be constantly filled with the Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit do for us? Well, I just want to mention three things this, uh, this Monday. There are many things that the Holy Spirit does, but I just want to mention three. And the first one is that he makes Jesus real to us. Jesus said he will take what is mine and he will give it to you. You know, we love using social media. We speak to our family who are far away, some of them. We speak to them on WhatsApp. But that's not enough. We've got to go and see them. or well, they must come and see us so we can hug them, so we can talk to them, so we can sort out our stuff with them, etc. We need to be in personal contact. Yes, we have the story of God's work in the Bible. Yes, we have the stories of Jesus in the Scriptures. But what the Holy Spirit does is he makes Jesus a real and a living being to us as Christ comes to live in our hearts through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So that's the first thing that the Holy Spirit does. It takes Jesus and makes him real in our lives. The second thing is power. You know, we can give a lecture about Jesus, we can give a talk about Jesus, but unless the power of the Spirit is there, there's going to be no reality. People's lives won't be touched. When we serve God, when we go and meet people, when we help people and so on, if it's simply in our own power, it lacks that conviction of the Spirit that will make a great difference uh, in the lives of people. When the Holy Spirit comes, he enables us to do things that we simply cannot do without him. enables us to love and to forgive and to be able to be set free from things that hamper us. That's the second thing. And the third thing is that he gives us a new nature. Paul calls it the fruit of the Spirit. So that when the Holy Spirit lives within us, we are given a new nature, the nature of God. We share in the divine nature, the Apostle Peter tells us, so that God's love and God's peace and God's joy and God's goodness begin to grow in us. Yep, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a lifetime and more to become 
everything that God wants us to be. But it's the Holy Spirit who does the work and gives us a new nature. Those three things, making Jesus real to us, giving us power to do what we can't do in our own strength, and giving us a new nature, the third thing. And so may you rejoice in the Holy Spirit today and discover the reality of what God has given to us through that baptism. Ask God every day to fill you with his Spirit. Bye for now.